Let's learn about the exponent rules. On our agenda, we will discover the exponent rules and we'll talk about why they work and then we'll do examples with each. Let's get ready. You're going to need paper and pencil. Be sure to write these rules into your notes. We'll do examples along with each one. The first one is called the product of powers. Now you don't need to remember the names of them, but the names should make sense. Product means multiplication and then powers. So we're multiplying when we have exponents. So when you're multiplying with the same base, remember the base here is a, and both of them are the same, you're gonna add the exponents. So it becomes a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. Let's look at with some variables and numbers. So if I have x squared, that means I have x times x, and then x cubed is x times x times x. So altogether I have five x's, which is x to the five, we added the exponents. If I throw some more numbers in there, it's not a distributive, but you can do it in any order. Remember the two is not attached to the x, they come apart. So I can do two times three, so it's six. And then I have x squared and x to the fifth. I'm going to add them and I'll get x to the seventh. Power of a power, that means you have an exponent raised to another exponent. So when raising a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. You take those two exponents, multiply them together. So here we have x squared to the fourth. Let's think about what that looks like. That's x times x four times. And then I have eight x's, so it'd be x to the eight. So you multiply the two exponents power of a product. So power, the exponent of something being multiplied, the a times b, that means you're going to raise each part to the exponent. So the a gets the m and the b gets the m. In this example we have x y to the third, so that becomes x to the third y to the third. In the second example, don't forget to bring the squared to the two. A lot of students will forget the integer and then it goes to there and it goes to there. So it becomes two squared, which is four. Power to a power we multiply. So two times two is four, so x to the fourth. And then y to the fifth gets multiplied by the, the two. So we have y to the 10. Quotient of powers. So we are dividing, quotient means division, of powers. So when you're dividing with the same base, you're going to subtract the exponents. So a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n. And here in this example, we have x to the 7 over x to the 3. So that means I have 7x's all being multiplied on the top over 3x's. Well, it's multiplication, so x over x's are going to simplify to 1, and I end up with oops, I end up with four x's, so it becomes x to the fourth, because I subtract the exponents. Again, remember the five is not attached to the x or the 10, so this is really just five over 10, so it becomes one over two, and then just a plain old x has an exponent of one, so I have to do three minus one, and then I get two. You don't really need the one there, you could say x squared over two power of a quotient. So when you have an exponent of a, a quotient, so a fraction from division, then you're going to distribute that to the top and the bottom. And a lot of kids will forget to distribute it to the bottom. So here I have all of this raised to the fourth power and I'm multiplying as I do it. So it's going to become x to the 12th over y to the eighth. Power of a quotient, another example. Again, don't forget to go to the integers and to everything with multiplying there. So three squared is nine, x squared squared is x to the fourth. In my denominator, five squared is 25, and y cubed squared is three times two, which is y to the six. The zero power, when anything is raised to the zero, it is always one. So that was gonna be one that you wanna remember, it's a nice shortcut. So x to the zero is one x squared times y to the 100th to the zero is still one. Negative exponents. When you're raising to a negative exponent, you're going to apply the reciprocal. So you're gonna flip the fraction. Um, so if it's a to the negative m, then you're gonna put a in the denominator and now your exponent becomes positive. Make sure you don't leave any negative answer, uh, exponents in your final answer. 
So x to the negative 2 would be 1 over x squared. And let's look at what happens here. I'm going to separate my 5 from my variables and my 20. So that's going to be 1 over 4. Then I have x to the negative 2. It's negative on top, so that means it goes down below and becomes positive. I flipped it, so I did the reciprocal. The y, that's just y up top, so that's going to stay up top. And then the z to the negative 5, it's negative down below, so a reciprocal would put it up top. Now I don't have any exponents, and I fully simplified. So there's your exponent rules. Make sure that they are in your notes, and we'll use them for practice in class. Good job.